In this video, we'll go through the most important steps you need to know when setting up your new Receptive account. Typically, you'll go through the following steps to get started with Receptive. Quick and advanced account setup, some process planning, and team and customer onboarding. Quick account setup involves two parts, integrating with Receptive and setting up your account. Integration requires a couple of steps to make sure we give customers a correct access, and then we just send the instructions off to the development team. If you're not sure what the integration is, check out the link below. Account setup is super easy and just requires checking some basic account settings and then populating your account with your latest requests, what's on your roadmap, and a few recent releases. Before we get started, just a quick note for anyone using Receptive internally only. You'll follow the exact same steps during the account setup, except you'll keep customer notifications turned off at the customer onboarding stage, and you won't create a link for your customers to log in after the integration is set up. But you'll still want to set up the integration so your customer records are populated and you can track who wants what. Let's jump into the first step, which is to figure out how many products or modules you'll want in your receptive account. You'll need to do this first so you can tell your development team exactly how to set up your integration. Unlike tags, products and modules are customer facing, so you can limit your customers to see just the requests that are relevant to them. They also provide a way for your customers to label their requests to the appropriate product or module, and then your product team can break out their dashboard to just the requests that are relevant to them. See the link below for a four question quiz to see if you need multi-products or modules and how your use case should be configured. Once you know how you're gonna set them up, you need to create these products in your account before moving on to the next step. To add a new product or module to your account, just hit the drop down navigation in the top right corner and select settings. Click on multiple products and then click manage products. Simply add the name of the second product or module that you would like to add. And I'll do a module as well so you can see the example there. These are all new products in your receptive dashboard. So when you go back to your dashboard and click refresh, you will have your product level filters at the top. Once you've created those products, you can then send integration instructions to your development team. Customer access to each product and module is granted through the receptive integration. So you'll need to provide those details to your development team along with our integration support doc. The integration is really straightforward and should only take half hour or so, but if any questions come up, just email support at receptive.io. Once those instructions are off with your development team, you can move on to your account setup. So again, just head over to the drop down menu in the top right corner and click settings. Here you'll want to check your vendor name and make sure that's okay. Check your what's coming list visibility. If you want to hide that for now, then move that to team only. Decide whether you want to show or hide your customer names to each other, and you can also decide whether you want to show the vote count of each request to your customers. And you can change those settings here. Just click Save. Then head over to Branding and Appearance, and here you can upload your logo and change the colors of your sidebar and primary buttons across Receptive. The other important thing to do here is to customize your Suggest form. So you just click Customize Suggest Form and then click this button. And here you can add and remove as many fields as you'd like. We have some best practices for your form in a help doc, which we'll link below. Or you can just go ahead and update this to what is your problem or request. Change the detailed description to a multi-line field. What are you trying to accomplish? And do you currently have a workaround? And these questions work really well to get to the bottom of your customer's pain points and to find out more information for your product team. You can leave those as um, optional or mark them as required. You can see when you go over to your suggest form, then you have your new form listed there. Next, you'll want to seed your account with some recent outstanding requests, some items currently being built, and some of your latest releases, and you'll use our CSV import to get those into your account. So just click the drop down and click import. Our import is really, really easy. You just need to select which headings match which columns. When you scroll down, you'll be able to see a preview of all the requests that you're importing. Tags will be listed 
alongside the title and you can just click import when you're ready. Now, if you'd like to move these items onto your roadmap, just go over to the Browse tab, select one of the items, and over here you can update the status of the request based on what you'd like to do with it. So anything you'd like to go onto the list view or what's coming list can be moved to planned or building. Anything that's a recent release can be moved to this released status, and anything you'd just like to be available for other customers and team members to vote on can be moved to this awaiting feedback status. So we'll go ahead and move this one to that. You can choose the default saved response in here, or you can create your own custom saved response, and then save that response for future use if you'd like to use that again in the future. Click wait for feedback, and now the status of that will be awaiting feedback. Let's do that again with something and move it onto the roadmap. So this next not reviewed item, we can move it to the plan status. Again, we can use one of these default saved responses in here, or we can customize it if we'd like. When we move that to planned, then when we come into reports and look at the what's coming list, you now have that second item in your, in your what's coming list. Finally, to move something onto the release log, come over here and click released. This has been built and click released. And now that item is in your release log. Once you've populated your what's coming list, if you would like to have that shown to your customers, you can come back over to settings as we did before and change that to customers and team. You can also put that view public on the web if you'd like to put an iframe or link to it from your website somewhere. And you can just change the status of that here and select public on the web and click save. So that's it for the quick account setup. You've now prepared your account for the integration and have done the basic account setup so you can invite your team and customers in. If you have lots of time before launching Receptive officially, go ahead and watch the next videos on the advanced account setup, process planning, and team and customer onboarding. If you need to get started right away with Receptive, go ahead and invite your teams in now and then allow customers in as soon as the integration is set up. Be sure to share our how-to guides for each of your teams when inviting them in and we'll link to those below. And then definitely come back to the advanced setup, process planning, and additional onboarding steps once you've invited everybody in. If you're going to go ahead and invite your team members in now, I'll show you that next. So you just need to go back to your settings tab and just click manage team. And here you can invite your team in. And just make sure to tag them up with the correct team. So whether that's sales, customer success, etc., can go there. And then if you have access to team permissions, just select the appropriate permissions level there. When you click invite team member, they'll get a notification and they'll be able to claim their account and they'll have access to your receptive account. And that's it. If you have any questions, just get in touch with support at receptive.io.